think I've heard a soul say a word about tires. And that's a beautiful thing. It is. It really <laughs> is. I know. Oh, what's this all about? Man, he's got something. Whoa, on his trouble car. for Hamlin. The right front tire is headed toward the infield, right where he is. What in the world? What happened? Looks like the steering locked to the left, all the way to the left. Car owner Joe Gibbs looking on and uh, looking for the replay. And looking rather worried as well. Now let's watch this. Now Hamlin's getting away from the grass. Now he's still on the clock. Then he pulls away as a crewman looks attentively underneath the car. Now didn't they change the engine in this car, Larry? Yes, they did. Uh, yeah, they were going to have to start the race at the back of the dual races on Thursday. I mean, he's he's about to try to go 180 something miles an hour with a car that just was locked up to the left. Got the tape. Not going to be a very good lap because the tape shoved up off the uh, opening in the grill there. That'll slow it down. Plus, I don't know if he had any damage from running it through the grass over there or not. But uh, Larry, I wonder. I wonder if one of those manual steering boxes, maybe they've gone to that, and for some reason it didn't something work just right. But the other thing is, Mike, I think you might be on to something too. If the steering wheel, uh, which fits on over splines and is locked onto that column uh, with a, a spring-loaded retainer, if that steering wheel comes off, what are the wheels going to do? Go, go dead left. left. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, because these steering wheels have a quick release on it to where the driver can get in and out of the race car with ease. There's there's more to this story. But, but you look, can see there's that. no damage to the car with the new nose on these cars. They're quite resilient. Oh, yeah, the, the old style car, the way the splitter was, I mean, it would have destroyed it. The one thing that's going to hurt it, and I think Daryl mentioned it, it's pulled that tape up. You want as much tape on that nose as you can. It really helps the straightaway speed. I think what he's really doing here, since they had an engine change, just put a couple laps on it and see if there's anything else they can, that if everything else is all right. Because I briefly mentioned that when you change an engine per the NASCAR rule, the next race, which in the case of what we have down here would be the dual races on Thursday, you're going to have to start at the rear anyhow. I think that's all he's trying to do, get a couple laps, because they won't be back on the racetrack until practice on Wednesday. So a very strange start to this qualifying run for Denny Hamlin, but he gets it up and going. He'll complete his two lap run. And Hamlin will be 34th. It's a different uh, steering column than what I'm um, necessarily accustomed to. So just, uh, that was about it. It was a very eventful uh, two laps. Well, the silver lining is obviously with this new car, you were able to take laps and at least get a, you know, some practice. You've changed that engine. So Thursday going to the back, did you learn anything then on those laps with what happened? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we, we knew we were going to qualify pretty bad, uh, but obviously uh, that didn't help, and help too much. So, it, you know, for us, we knew we were going to have to come from the back. We uh, change engines, transmissions and everything. So this was just kind of a trial run to kind of see where we, uh, we stood uh, with our teammates.